Good morning, everybody. You know, so much help is needed in this world, especially right now. And while that may not be a reason to smile, the countless good people and organizations stepping up, they certainly are. Right now, there are also countless toy drives happening across North Texas, and that warms my heart. Like this one, focused on children who are often overlooked. Toys and Hope for Marlin, Texas is a toy drive for children in the small rural town of Marlin, about 30 minutes outside Waco. You know, poverty levels in this area are incredibly high, and unlike larger cities, resources and help can be harder to access. That's why right now, organizers in Dallas are collecting toys to make sure these kiddos know they aren't forgotten over in the big city. They're gonna gather all the donations in Dallas, then drive south for an early Christmas surprise on Monday. They say these toys are more than gifts. They're hope to let children know that people care. It's so wonderful to see just how much they are amazing. They have really, um, in so many ways, contributed. I've had a client drive in from um, Corsicana uh, two days ago to drop off gifts. That's amazing to see them glow like the stars, you know, the sunshine. It just makes my heart feel good to see them, to know that somebody cares enough that's not in the family, but is willing to give to us that don't even know me, you know? And so that brings joy to their heart. That was Lou and Pastor John, two of the organizers who believe in this so much. Love people like that. Now you can drop off toys at Renew Beauty Spas in North Park Center and their Frisco location, or you can socially distance and head to toys2formarlin.com and order toys online, a really easy way to give back. Now we also want to thank everyone who came out to our Santa's Helpers Toy Drive in Fort Worth last night. Oh, this makes me smile ear to ear. We're trying to help make sure every child has a toy to open Christmas morning. We still have one more drive left. So stop by our Victory Park studio from 5 through 10 o'clock for that newscast and drop off those toys. We can't wait to see them.